Hey, what's up, doggos? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact playthrough reaction, where today we are going to do our Anubis Electro Boy here's own quest. And I've literally been holding off on unlocking his story quest. I'm probably going to do this for all future story quests because I'm scared I'm going to accidentally trigger something once I walk into the open world. Because literally, while I was doing the Archon quest, not this patch's Archon quest, but the previous Archon quest, sorry, it wasn't the Archon quest, it was Tikhanari's own story quest. I had to, I ran into the trigger prompt for that one, um, the Arnara doll making event for that story. So I had to awkwardly finish that. Obviously you didn't see that in editing because I cut it out, but I had to complete that in the middle. And it kind of just like disrupts the pacing a lot and uh, I don't know, it, it's it's weird, alright? For that sake, I saved this till now. Sands of Solitude, Suspicious Smuggling Case. Take a look around the Academia, you decide to take a look around the Academia. Oh! That's so tragic. So I talked to some of these Sumeru NPCs before, out of, like, curiosity. <clears throat> the evening breeze is like a melody. Huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? And this guy, this, this might be Rune Study. Good He's trying to so hard to us. win this mercenary about? over. I mean, I, I admire the d determination, but I don't know if I... <laughs> Yeah, she, he's, he was trying to hit on the guard for like forever now. Did this, did this progress because I talked to them? I wish you all the best. I believe you. What should I do now? <sighs> if only Sino was still around. How would you know Sino? Uh, excuse us. Has something happened? Oh, I appreciate the concern, but who are you? I'm offended you don't know. Oh, we also happen to know Sino. Ah, friends of Sino. Well, I suppose it's not a secret or anything. Since you two are interested, I'll just lay it out for you. My name is Nabil. I'm a Matra in the Academia. Ah. A case involving the smuggling of canned knowledge has come to our attention recently. Again. Unfortunately, we don't have the people to handle it at the moment. Hey, no problemo. Huh? Give us a free Imperial Gem so we'll call it done. Are short on Matra right now? Well, not exactly. I suppose the main problem is that the case suddenly came up after General Mahamatra Sino left to go somewhere. It would be a real headache for us to tackle the case ourselves. With him exiling himself? And y'all thinking he's just going away somewhere? And y'all are this reliance? Yo, the Mahamatra is gonna fall apart without Sino. Well, he is scope of the general. Issue. Do you have any further intel regarding the case? Yes. Large amounts of canned knowledge from unknown origins have been appearing on the market recently. We suspect there's a secret route being used to move the capsules. Dory, hello? According to some this research, you? Using large amounts of canned knowledge could lead to some serious consequences. And, unfortunately, most people have yet to realize that. Yep, consequences indeed. Like, my guy back in Port, back in Port Ormos going... According to our current leads, it's highly likely that there are dealers selling canned knowledge outside the city, even as we speak. Dory's if minions. If you two could, please help us investigate the area. Sands of Solitude. Lucrus Aureus, Act 1. Oh, hey, this place is pretty close to the Palace of Alakazars already. And we know how the palace, that palace is owned by Dory. Ah, you beat us to it. Huh? It's Sino! Uh, what are you doing here? And you're also back from the desert. Ah, it's you two. I knew I sensed a familiar presence. I'm currently in the middle of an investigation here. We'll have to chat some other time. So you're investigating something here too? Does that mean... There's been a recent case of canned knowledge smuggling. It seems that the smugglers are following an elaborate and dangerous scheme. We're on to the thing, same thing. I just happened to acquire some intel which led me here. Hey, what do you know? We're also here to investigate that! I was able to learn of the secret location where the canned knowledge is being sold. You're welcome to accompany me if you're interested. That sounds pretty complicated. 
But having Sino around will definitely make things easier. Is this all you got? Hmm. Seems even less than last time. What difference does it make? If you see something you like, buy it. If not, then keep walking. They've been cracking down on us lately, so we don't have much on hand. If you see something that catches your eye, then now's your chance. There's no telling when we'll have more. It's funny, because I've been watching Breaking Bad recently, <laughs> and these scenes are kind of playing out like... <laughs> it's just reminding me of Breaking Bad smuggling <laughs> drug. We're gonna do it the sign away, I like... I don't see any whack, gems in this batch. Bam. It's all pretty ordinary stuff. Whatever, how much do I owe you? 150k. Dang. Show us the Mora, and you'll get the goods. That's on the low side though. Yo, these must be some low tier ones, like... How to... <laughs> I can... Can knowledge of how to microwave food. Can knowledge on how to clean your bathroom. Put the Mora down in your hands up. <gasps> it's it's Sino! <sighs> When's he ever gonna let up? Hey, forget the goods! Let's split! You got on yo! Dun-dun! Not so fast! You can't escape with Paimon on the case! What is this? He's got backup now? Doesn't everyone say Sino works alone? Um, everyone doesn't know enough, apparently. It's over. It's not like we're making a big cut anyway. I'm not losing my life here. You guys can try. I mean, shit, these elemental reactions go ham, you know? Huh? Did they really just give up like this? <laughs> it's like, fuck it, you know. We're 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 NPCs, brother. we 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 don't stand a chance, all right. You can clearly see they're playable characters. What can we do? At oh, least you know. At least he's smart. You know, doesn't just go into a battle phase. All right. I have one question and one question only. Where did you get this canned knowledge? Sino might still beat the shit out of them, though. Uh, well, uh, the pickup location is different every time. The boss tells us where it's gonna be, and that's it. We don't get a say in it. He sends someone every five days to bring us the goods. Jesse, we need to collect more canned knowledge. Jesse. And when is the next batch coming? <laughs> this is this is literally. Why is it reminding me so much of Breaking Bad? They say they say batch too, like. Normally, we should have received a shipment three days ago, but we didn't get anything. The stock we have right now is from eight days ago. Which is why there isn't much left. Seems this isn't getting us anywhere. Sino wasn't kidding when he said Intel was hard to gun by. I know exactly why they didn't receive their last batch. Three days ago is exactly when I started my investigation. I suspect who's ever running this whole thing knew that I was coming. So they cut all contact with these dealers. When you were trying to escape, you said something about me working alone. Where did you hear that from? Are you kidding? We've known your name since day one in this business. The boss warned us to watch Who's out and even boss? give us info about you. If only we had another lead. Like a merchant who sells large amounts of canned knowledge. Huh? Oh, you mean someone like Dora? Uh, nothing? Hmm. Do you have a potential mm. suspect? You'd better bring them to me for judgment. God dang. Alright, when, when you slip something like that, Sino's gonna come after your ass for that, right? <laughs> That's right. I won't turn a blind eye on any dangerous suspect. Dory, it's time to move, nation. It's time to move. Hurry and get out of here. Uh, sounds like we shouldn't ever let Sino meet Dory. Actually, we were mistaken. We don't know any merchants. I see. Anyway. Thank God. I'll think of a way to deal with these two and then continue gathering information. If you manage to learn anything, you can find me at Caravan Rebot. And as for you, mm. I don't ever want to catch you buying canned knowledge again. If you possess any unused knowledge capsules, then you should submit them to the authorities immediately. Okay, okay, I got it. The Academia has clearly published the potential dangers of canned knowledge. I don't like having to repeat things. And yet they use it besides, themselves. I'm sure. I just hope you understand that your actions are what fuels the smuggling of canned knowledge. If I ever catch you again, I will personally see to it that you are punished. All right, Traveler. I need to go now. Traveler, why don't we go talk to Dory? She's got loads of connections and might be able to tell us something about all this. Mm, if Paima remembers correctly, she's usually at the Palace of Alcazar's Array. Let's go! Yes, the Palace of Palace Palace. Speak with the butler if there's something you need. Hey. 
Oh, wait. <laughs> There's a wave trigger. <laughs> Why is that wave so cute? I see, I see. So that's the latest scoop. <laughs> Good thing you didn't rat me out. Otherwise, who knows where I'd have to be hiding to avoid attention. Do you know who is smuggling the can knowledge? No idea. Sorry. I've already cashed out of the can knowledge business. Besides, it seems that group of smugglers has practically taken over the market. It's a little rule of mine to never fight for a share of someone else's market. If I'm gonna make Mora, it's gonna be the lion's share. Plus, with regulations getting as tight as they are now, I figured I might as well just hang it up. Granted, I don't know who's behind all the smuggling activity, but since you didn't sell me out, I'll let you in on what I do know. After all, the smugglers have really crossed the line, butting their way into the market like that. I hope their luck runs out soon so that I can take over. <clears throat> I mean, so that the industry can become more fairly regulated. Hey, you just want to make more business for yourself. Is selling can knowledge really that lucrative? <laughs> Don't underestimate its value. Think about it. You can gain all sorts of knowledge while bypassing the troublesome process of studying. Naturally, that makes it a product worth a high price. Of course, not everyone needs that kind of knowledge, but in a market as big as Sumeru, there is plenty of demand. Plus, the cost of production is relatively low, so even if dealers have to cover transportation costs, there's still an enormous profit to be made. Then why does the Academia prohibit selling canned knowledge? <laughs> Being able to gain complex knowledge and become a scholar with the snap of your fingers mm, does sound like a dream, They don't it? want competition. <laughs> but everything in the world comes at a price, right? Gaining knowledge is a complicated process. It requires learning, thinking, and practice. Even when it comes to my own business, I have to go through a lot of preparation before I put anything out for sale. But with canned knowledge, one may simply skip all the hassle and get whatever they need to know immediately. That sounds that so convenient. That leads to at least two potential problems. Information overload. First, you'll accept the knowledge as factual without a second thought, and you'll find it very hard to forget. Uh, and that if the knowledge oh. is flawed, then it'll be very difficult to get. Right, correct. if it's if it's like lies and just fabrication you'll literally believe that too oh okay that is dangerous and second excess use of knowledge capsules over an extended time diminishes your ability to think you'll end up becoming like a library that can only store knowledge well shit i mean hey i know my boundaries so i'm probably if i'm actually there oh, i would use one or two that does sound pretty dangerous Traveler, you used can knowledge before. Did you feel any negative effects? Well, our base attack only increased by like five, so I think we're okay. Not in particular. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, back to the point. There will be consequences if the sale of can knowledge by those smugglers is left unchecked. And what's worse, you're playing right into their hands by focusing only on the can knowledge that's made its way into the market. Right. As far as I know, their real purpose is to distribute information about the Court of Desolation. That's where the real business opportunity is. The Court of... The Court of Desolation? What's that? Rumor has it that it's a site of ruins from the age of the Scarlet King. It's said that with the treasures inside, one can see beyond life and death. But any research of the ruins is strictly banned by the Academia. Word on the street is that there'll be an auction taking place in the desert. They're auctioning rare canned knowledge, some of which is related to the Court of Desolation. Once I heard about the auction, I began to suspect that all the canned knowledge popping up on the market is just to a draw diversion. away the real sale. I wager that their down. real target is the Court of Desolation. Why use canned knowledge to distribute information? What's the purpose of hosting an auction? Because studying those ruins is not just a simple matter. It requires knowledge spanning several fields. So, if they're aiming to quickly assemble a research team, can knowledge would be the best solution. Uh, As for the auction, take a little chances shortcut. are they're trying to attract and scout out anyone with interest or expertise on the subject. On the other hand, no one can say for sure that they will ever succeed in finding the Court of Desolation. I may as well so, try. they might as well just make a fortune while they're at it, by hyping up the related can knowledge at the auction. Hmm. Sounds to Paimon 
like we better head to the desert and see the auction. Who knows? We might find some leads there. And now that I've shared all that valuable info, I hope Sino is not it's time spying to introduce our now. limited edition desert travel kit. It comes complete with a map straight to the auction location. Oh yes, <laughs> Sun is coming. All right, discount deal for the price of only one million more. I hope she doesn't know about my Mora bank account balance. I've got it. Five hundred thousand Mora per kit. That's quite the bargain. We'll even offer a 50% discount for Little Paimon's travel kit. Only 250,000 Mora. Wait, that's seven. That's 75. That's 750,000 Mora. What? That's super expensive. I mean, I have the funds, but holy fuck. No need to worry, little one. Sino's the one heading this investigation, isn't he? I'll be sure to bill all the expenses to him. All you'll need to do is tell him to go to the Merchant's Guild and pay the bill once the mission is completed. Just, uh, be sure to not send him directly here, though, okay? That would leave me completely in the open. Gotcha, merchant. I'm sure the former General Mahamatra of the Academia would never leave any debt unpaid. Oh, the Mora. I can see it already. Loads of shiny Mora coming Dory's way. By the way, it would be quite a tricky task to get all the canned knowledge off the market, don't you think? You'd probably be making some enemies along the way, too. Huh? What makes you say that? Because in the short run, the circulation of canned knowledge benefits everyone. Whoever's behind the smuggling gets a chance to study the Court of Desolation, while knowledge dealers stand to make big profits. Even the buyers get a rare chance to easily access knowledge that's hard to come by. So, you see? It's a win for everyone. Who would want anyone stepping in and ruining the deal, hmm? As for the long-term consequences that lie ahead, most people can't see them, nor would they even believe them. So, if you think about it, you're setting yourself up to be targeted by everyone. You've got quite the challenge ahead of you. I can only imagine how stressed you'll feel. Eh. How about oh, really? I recommend a book for you? It's no. called 100 no. Ways to De-Stress no. and Live Your Best. I'll offer you a 30% discount right now. Actually... How much is that, Dora? Uh, again? No way we're falling for that! No, 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 Paimon, you- Listen, listen, that book sounds important. We- we need to buy that! I need to know how to distress! I need to know! Look, I don't have Dory, but it's kind- There's a kind of sad bit to her um, fascination with Mora that I have heard surfacing around the- At least the lore side. Is that her fascination with money, um came from a time where she was like in a very bad situation i think it was her sister who was gravely ill and needed this specific kinds of ingredients to cure her but these ingredients were very rare and expensive dory had to scramble and f like basically fetch and earn all the more she can get huge amounts of more and during that time the wish was when she started having an obsession with collecting more. Also, I heard she didn't fetch enough to save her sister anyway in the end. So, you know, I'm, I'm really sorry for that. That's kind of tragic. Sometimes the cute ones also get tragic backstories. Sino! We got news for you. What the smugglers are really after is a chance to research the Court of Desolation. They're hosting an auction in the desert to sell canned knowledge about those ruins. The Court of Desolation. I won't ask how you came by this intel, but is it reliable? Yes, it should be. It's all we have to go on for the moment. We also heard that the Court of Desolation contains treasures from the time of the Scarlet King. Is that true? Partially. It was a secret place built by a dark sect from the age of the Scarlet King. The ruins do contain treasures, but the place is also rife with unknown dangers. According to past research, one must forfeit their life as the price of entering. Jesus Christ! Are there many people trying to study the Court of Desolation? Less in recent years. But there are always those who attempt to do so, both inside and outside the academia. After all, Legends claim that whoever obtains the treasures inside can see beyond life and death. Or even... Resurrect the dead. Ooh. Death is often the greatest grievance for many people. 
Though they're fully aware that the chance of these rumors being true are slim, they hold tight to such fantasies and pursue them regardless. That's why some continue to research it, regardless it of it being a restricted subject. On top of that, it's hard to track the source of information contained in canned knowledge. Do you know where the auction is taking place? Yes, we do. Good. We'll go investigate. But before that, we'll have to get rid of these people tailing us. Oh yeah? Well, um, these tailing peeps and goons. I do hope you like taking aggravate damage. Okay, well, the last time someone tailed us from Karan Rebot was solved without any violence. So... Hold it right there. Heading to the desert, are we? I would think twice if I were you. Oh, y'all just gonna show up? Okay, so... Huh? Who are you? That doesn't matter. All you need to know is that someone wishes to inform you that it's not too late to turn back. Oh, we're not ordinary people. If, no, you know, you weren't aware. We must be Sino. I've heard a lot about you. You've got quite a reputation. But this time you're in over your head. Unless you turn around right now, I'm afraid that even you won't return unscathed. My employer said that he's willing to compromise Don't as long as you just walk away. He could, for example, reduce the amount of canned knowledge on the market. I'm sure that would help your investigation appear to be successful enough. No, we'll get to the root of this matter. On top of that, he's willing to give you a cut of the profit. So you see, you get both Mora and a boost to your reputation. I'm pretty you sure Sino doesn't care about Mora, so, you know, good try. I, look, I don't get why... Listen, guys, this is like the millionth time some random enemy faction has think, Oh, we, some, a bunch of enemies, visionless with blunt weapons, you know, except this guy, that guy on the right wields a crossbow, we can take on, you know, a guy with a vision, especially someone with the title of General Mahamatra in this situation. Where does your confidence come from? It's not even confidence, it's fucking foolishness. Y'all are gonna get bodied regardless. Stop giving them no bless. Seriously. Uh, this doesn't change anything. Okay. I apologize for bringing you into this dangerous mess. Just being associated with me will inevitably cause you to become targets as well. You should be careful from now on. Sleep with one eye open. Oh, uh, I'm gonna have to Wait, practice that. Hold on. There's no way anyone could sleep without closing their eyes. Uh, right? Well, people actually can do that, Paimon. You'd be surprised. Mm. Anyway, but just be if... careful. Okay. Mercenaries are never quick to forget in their line of work. Even a single failure is bad for reputation. They may even stay hidden in some dark corner for a very long time, waiting for the right moment to ambush you. They'll do anything Ooh. to keep their prestige intact. Have you encountered that kind of situation before, Sino? Maybe with his team? Yes, I remember it like it was yesterday. I was carrying out a mission with oh. one of my superiors. Oh, fuck. I didn't have much experience at the time, and I let my guard down after we had closed the case. We ended up being attacked by the remainder of the mercenaries. My superior was injured while mm, protecting me. Yeah. And we struggled to gain control of the situation. I, I imagine some situation like that. I've become more vigilant ever since, staying alert even while I sleep. He survived with a fractured wrist. It took two months for him to recover, but luckily, there weren't any further complications. Last year, he transferred to an administrative role for personal reasons and no longer participates in live missions. His name is Taj Radkani, a very well-respected matra. Taj Radkani. You'll have the chance to meet him someday. And once this is all over, I'll sweep away any other hidden dangers. Roger that, General. Thank you, convenient line of, um, slingshot <laughs> targets. <sighs> Shape for us to cool off under. Wait, is this right next to that Kai Kaj? Yep, the hidden temple. Just look around, it's just sand and desert. There aren't any monsters for miles around. Uh, you were saying? Oh, where did these scorpions come from? Watch out, something's not right about them. <laughs> Guilty. Well, Paimon really didn't expect to see those here. 
Those weren't just normal scorpions. Oh, See, yeah. See, there are marked numbers on their pincers. They were raised by someone. So you mean... Someone doesn't want us to show up at the auction. These scorpions were sent to keep us away. Dang, they just sent pet scorpions out to die? Jeez. We are surrounded by desert as far as the eye can see. If we were killed out here, nobody would ever know. This place is super dangerous. Good thing we didn't let our guard down. Something's not right. There are no roads in the desert. So how could they know where we are? Uh... uh oh. Stay still. But... Oh, was I bugged? Shit. A miniature tracking, tracking device, device mm. made by the Kasharwar. They can use this to discern your approximate location. But this device wasn't licensed for mass production. Where did they get it? Could someone from the Kasharwar also be involved? Hmm. But that doesn't seem right. Oh, Paimon never knew that kind of thing even existed. Why would it be on her? They probably planted it on the Traveler during our fight with the mercenaries earlier. I'm sorry, I didn't even notice. Sneaky it was a frantic bastards. fight. It's only natural you didn't notice the device. <sighs> well, good thing you were able to find it, Sino. Now let's get rid of it. Hmm. No. Hold uh... on to it for now. It might still be useful for More us. More than way. <laughs> oh, that looks promising. Oh, there's a there's a there's a there's a little shaggy in here. Hi, shaggy. Good shaggy. Oh, yeah. Is this where the auction is? There's no one here. Yeah, not a single soul. Maybe they're on break right now or something. We didn't waste any time getting here after we defeated those mercenaries. They shouldn't have been able to give any warning of our arrival. But even so, they still knew we were coming. Someone here must have been watching the tracker and warned everyone to clear out. Aww, what should we do now? We searched the area. Mm. They couldn't have moved all the knowledge capsules so quickly. They probably took still the be most something important left one, for us to find. All right, let's take a good look around the area. A large amount of canned knowledge has been piled here, enough to fetch an extremely large amount of mora at market price. Ordinary canned knowledge seems to have nothing to do with the Court of Desolation. The Sumter Beast is drinking water leisurely and seems to be completely unaffected. Ah, uh, who's a good shaggy? Who's a good shaggy? Yeah. The scattered footprints have not completely been buried by the wind and sand. But it is impossible to speculate on the direction of the merchant's escape from these footprints. It's possible there weren't many knowledge capsules containing info about the Court of Desolation. So they carried those off. But don't worry. I have another idea. You two start heading back the way we came. I will remain hidden here. Come back and meet me here after some time has passed. I'm sure something will come up by then. So that's why you wanted me to carry the tracking device. Once they think we've left the premises, they'll be back to pick up their belongings. We just need to make sure the tracker goes far enough from here to make them assume that it's safe to come back. Oh, Paimon gets it. We'll lure them out because they'll think we've left. Okay, we'll start heading away and leave this place to you. A few moments later. Any luck? That oh, oh, there is someone. Who are you? Oh, looks like Sino caught someone. So you're the bad guy behind all this, aren't ya? All right, tell Paimon everything you know. Does he know anything about the smuggling? Does he have an important role in the auction? He is not the primary instigator, but he is most likely one of the more important dealers here. Am I right? Yes, impressive. You certainly live up to your reputation, Sino. If I had any idea you were still around, I wouldn't have gotten so greedy. Since all the goods were just left here unsupervised, I thought I'd use the opportunity uh... to come back and take what I could. You know, free merchandise is good business, but... <sighs> I suppose there's no use explaining it now. You must know who's manufacturing and selling the canned knowledge, correct? Will you tell us willingly? Or do I need to make you talk? No, no. I'll talk. But before that... Perhaps we can take the conversation elsewhere? If we stay here, chances are that someone will see me with you. That would put both me and my family in danger. Fair. Alright. Where do you suggest we go? How about my home in Aru Village? It should be safe there. Is that your daughter? Dad! You're back! Oh sh... It is! Uh, we have guests? Uh... Hi there. Hello. This is my daughter, Simi. She can be a little shy of strangers. Why don't you run along now, dear? Dad needs to talk with our guests. Oh, okay. Everyone knows Sino in our business. But let me ask, 
Who are you two? Dang, why do they make him look so short? Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler! Hello. To be honest, I really didn't expect to see Sino, the lone operator, working with any partners. When I saw the tracker start moving away, I assumed you had decided to just go back empty-handed. Even think? though you caught me, I'd still urge you to stop while you still can. You should abandon this investigation. Why is that? Everything from the manufacturing of canned knowledge to the sales and even splitting the profits. Every step of the process involves dozens, if not hundreds of people. Massive profits have brought everyone together in this business. You're saying we're gonna destroy all their livelihoods if we inter intervene. Here. Everyone will try their best to defend this industry that we've worked to build. Mm. It'll be a long and difficult fight, even for you, Sino. And even if you manage to win in the end, no one will thank you. If anything, you yourself might even feel remorse. Why are you so bent on putting us out of business? Everyone has their own reasons for what they do. I don't have to explain mine. <sighs> it's not exactly legal. I hope you didn't hear that. Some tea, Dad, and for the guests too. Oh, thanks. Uh, right. I forgot to offer tea to our guests. <laughs> Thank you. I should tell you that our tea tastes kind of bitter, but I put some sugar in to make it a little tastier. That's my girl. Do we still have any sugar left? If not. I'll buy some more next time. Mm. Yes, we do. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go have a rest now. Didn't you say that everyone's in it for the massive profits? That sure doesn't seem to be the case for you. My daughter was born with a chronic disease, so she has Help. a relatively weak heart and lungs. Oh. Even slightly strenuous exercise can cause her to faint okay. and prove to be a life-threatening risk. That's why she never really had any friends to play with, and why she locks herself up in her room most of the time. She has to take lots of medicine, and it doesn't come cheap. As for me, Is that why you're in the business I was just an average place? merchant. I would wake up early and travel all around to make a profit. But the mora was still nowhere near enough. I could only watch my daughter's health deteriorate day by day. Until one day, someone reached out and showed me a way to really make a profit. Selling canned knowledge. knowledge. That's right. With all the mora I made, I could finally afford medical treatment for my daughter. Nothing made me happier than seeing her get better. Uh. There are many others like me. Smuggling canned knowledge might seem like an unforgivable crime to you, but to us, it's a means of survival. High risk, high reward. I wanted to tell you all this so that maybe you could understand and change your mind. Please, stay out of this, Sino. Give us a way to survive. Mm. Oh no. That means that if we prevent the sale of canned knowledge, his daughter will- We kill the business, we hurt so many people in the process. Uh, is there not a way to better go about this? I can find someone to help treat your child, but I cannot turn a blind eye to the smuggling. These are two completely different issues. <sighs> I somehow knew you would say that, but having your word to help my daughter is enough for me. Since you insist on continuing the investigation, you should have a look around the back of my home. You'll find some goods I received just recently. I think everything will become clear to you once you see them. Whoa! Look at all of this! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are they... Whoa. Small producers couldn't possibly support such a large quantity of goods. Hmm. Could the academia have a hand in this? But such a volume of goods wouldn't be able to slip through inspection. Wait. What's this? Could be some sort of marking we've never seen before. Do you know what it is, Sino? What, the banners? Yes, it's a Matra seal, indicating that the goods have passed Matra inspection. I started to suspect that someone in the academia might be involved when I found the tracker earlier. But how they could ship so much canned knowledge out of the academia was oh. still a mystery. The pieces have now all fallen into place. With this Matra seal, the goods can leave the academia without undergoing a second inspection. No wonder they don't want me to investigate. It turns out that a mantra is behind this. Even I find it hard to believe. It could be a misunderstanding. Could I ask you for a favor, Traveler? Sure. Since all this canned knowledge came from the academia, then it's highly likely that the knowledge regarding the Court of Desolation originated from research files stored within the academia. You'll need to be the one who checks the records. I'll write a letter to Nabil, and he'll take you there. Sure thing! Leave it to us! I just want to get better. 
I don't want to be stuck at home by myself anymore. I wish you'd get better by the end of this quest too. All right, back to the academia we go again. Hello, we meet again. How's the investigation going? You give Nabil the letter from Sino. Imagine he's the, oh, the so you inside were guy. So Sino after all. I hope he's doing all right. He seemed pretty okay. He's the same as always. <laughs> I can tell that he really trusts you. The research files stored away in the restricted repository are far from ordinary. Everything there is essentially about dangerous research that's forbidden by the academia. Even I don't usually have authorization to enter. But with this letter from Sino, it shouldn't be a problem. Would the ruin machine research be there too? Like, you know, from Tiknati's story quest. Banned research, the academia previously conducted research on mechanical life forms. In their pursuit to discover the differences between mechanical and biological life forms, zealous researchers performed unregulated vivisections and other absurdly cruel experiments on animals. Research on mechanical life forms was thus Wait, banned. So in this case, the owner of this crab succeeded in created AI then. The irony kind is... of. Carcata and all that. that Nabil explains the situation to the repository's manager. Okay, I understand. Since Sino is vouching for you, I suppose we can trust you. You may browse the information regarding the Court of Desolation. Ask me if you have any questions. But I'd suggest avoiding any other research files. Sometimes the less you know, the better. Wait. Huh. So this is the restricted repository. I never thought I'd see the inside of it. This is a first for both you and me. Oh, thanks to Sino. Do you also know Sino, Yuteva? There are many who do not openly converse with others within the academia. But even so, there are very few who I feel could be trusted with a real secret. Sino happens to be one of them. Even though he's no longer in the academia, I still trust him. And that goes for anyone he trusts as well. The files are over there. Just make it quick. You know, maybe it doesn't hurt to, you know. Oh, sh Mechanical life forms research data records an account of a Spantamite researcher who was expelled from the academia for studying mechanical life forms. Was that Karkata's owner? Dang, that's that's all you're gonna give me? Records an account of an Harvatat researcher being sentenced to prison for deciphering forbidden documents. This is the one. <laughs> Sealed materials, the Court of Desolation. Despite the repeated prohibitions, research on the Court of Desolation in the past decades have increased without ceasing. Researchers who study the history of the Court of Desolation mainly go through three stages. Discovery, investigation, and fanaticism. The earliest stage of the research is relatively basic discovery phase which causes little to no harm. The result of their discoveries will show that treasures related to life and death may be hidden within the Court of Desolation. This is also where the rumor of bringing the dead back to life may begin. Following the initial phase is a prolonged investigation phase. All documentation regarding the location of the Court of Desolation has been vague at best. As a result, the structure itself has never been truly discovered. Many researchers deplete their resources searching in the desert only to find a scant of few remaining stone tablets with the word, words entering the Court of Desolation comes at a price of one's life. Two different interpretations of the line have quickly emerged as a result. Some believe that the price of one's life is the key to entering the Court of Desolation, while others asserted that it was a requirement for the Court to appear, because the Court of Desolation what has never really been discovered. The last review gradually became mainstream. As a result, many researchers went in a short period of time. Overtaken by their fervent desire to make the Court of Desolation appear, they attempted to sacrifice their lives. Relevant research became increasingly dangerous and was eventually banned. And, but even after that, many academia scholars secretly continued their research. It was not until seven scholars, including Murtada Radkani, Oh. Tajra? were arrested that research into the Court of Desolation entered a period of stagnation once again. Mortada Radkani. That researcher's name sounds familiar. Huh. It reminds Paimon of Sino's former partner. His former partner? That Tajra would be Taj Radkani. Radkani. But you're not far off. 
Mortada Radkani was Taj's only son. Oh. What? Taj's son went to prison for researching the Court of Desolation? Is there any way we could meet Mortada? No. Unfortunately, there isn't. He took his own life not long after he went to prison. He oh. You've heard about Taj, God. right? I know Nabil has. Every Matra knows him. I would say he's probably pushing 50 this year, which makes him one of the most experienced Matra. He is a man of integrity and honesty, and has made countless achievements. His reputation goes back a long way now. He used to be Sino's only partner. Taj is also skilled with a polearm, oh. so the two of them used to practice together when they weren't out on a mission. I heard Sino mention that before, but one day Taj suddenly decided to retire from active duty and transfer to an administrative position. Is that after his son's death? I wonder if it had anything to do with the Mortada incident. Taj was already very well known by the time Mortada was born. So when Mortada came to study at the Academia, everyone had high expectations of him. He had to face a lot of pressure. Then he had an unpleasant dispute with his father, but they were eventually able to work things out. Not long after they had reconciled, Mortada was caught studying the Court of Desolation, which is in violation of Academia rules. Taj arrested his son and put him behind bars. He begged for leniency, but Taj wouldn't agree. Shortly after, Mortada slit his own throat with the pieces of a broken bowl. By the time Taj arrived at the scene, it was already too late. He never had a last chance to see his son. Since then, Taj has been periodically coming to the repository. He'll hold the files from his son's research with a remorseful look on his face. I guess that's why he chose to move to administrative work. He said Taj comes to the repository. Taj has gone through Murtada's research files. Wait, don't tell me you're starting to suspect Taj now. Impossible. Taj would never do that. I mean, yes, he does have a big reputation and has access to such research. Bring back the dead. Is he trying to resurrect his son? But this is Taj we're talking about. He would never do anything against regulations. Never. Oh, you underestimate what people would do for their loved ones. But if you claim that the canned knowledge was originating from the academia, then Taj is indeed a suspect because he was the only one who could have recently gone through research files about the Court of Desolation. There are so many files about those ruins that it would be difficult to restart any research, since the seven original researchers were put behind bars. However, if the files were made into canned knowledge, they could be understood immediately. By doing so, one could restart the research outside the academia without anyone ever noticing. According to the legends, the treasures inside the Court of Desolation could allow someone to see beyond life and death, or even bring the dead back to life, right? So maybe Taj is trying to bring Mortada back. Oh, now that I think about it, Sino suspected that the canned knowledge was coming from within the academia, right? He would know the seal. He would know how to make that. Alrighty then, let's go ask around. Excuse me, have you seen any large shipments of goods leaving the academia recently? Huh, well... Yes, but isn't that pretty normal? The academia consumes so many resources each day. Everything from cooking ingredients, raw materials, even equipment for experiments. It's normal for goods to be coming in and out. Right, but we're looking for shipments with a matra seal. Have you seen any like that? That I'm not too sure of. I normally wouldn't notice whether the goods have any seals or not. Maybe you should ask someone else. No, not that I'm aware of. Perhaps you could ask someone else? Really? Huh? Why do you ask? I'm just checking to ensure nothing unusual has happened. Well, I can't say it's unusual, but I did notice something. There's a Kashar Rar researcher who's been making frequent shipments recently. A dozen of large boxes each time, if not more. When I asked him about it, he said they just contained a bunch of old worn out machines. The Kashar Rawar used to often sell scrap machines to traveling merchants, so I didn't really think anything of it. But he's been making a lot of shipments lately. There weren't ever so many outdated machines before. And you didn't find that suspicious? Why didn't you report it for inspection? Well, the boxes were stamped with a matra seal. Why should I bother? Mm. Hmm, of course, I did start to wonder about the seal once, thinking that maybe they forged it or something. But you know what happened? A man named Taj came here and told me that he'd already inspected the goods personally and ordered me to leave the researcher alone. I couldn't question his word, could I? Impossible. There must be some sort of mistake. There's no way Taj would ever... Just calm down, everyone. No, I won't believe it. Taj is an honorable man. Someone must be trying to frame him. He's also a man who lost his son. The beer runs off and returns with someone shortly later. Hi, you are? <sighs> As I've already told you, 
I don't have any way to contact Taj. A few Aramites showed up looking for Taj yesterday, and he met with them in his office. I was standing outside of the door, and I vaguely heard them say, found it. Before I realized it, the door opened, and Taj left with the group of them. I noticed that he had also changed into Aramite attire. But Taj didn't come to work today, so I've also started to feel a little concerned about the whole thing. If you'd like to speak with him, uh, maybe you can try visiting his home. He lives just on the outskirts of Sumeru City. Let's go to his home and have a look. Fine. Looks like there's no other choice. Hey, don't let it get to you just yet. We'll get to the bottom of this once and for all. Here. Well, what should we do then? Do we break in? Jesus, no. No, no. Wait, the door's unlocked. Did, did Taj leave in a hurry? Well, anyway, we're still not sure if he's the real culprit. Probably not a good idea to go in without permission. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. Enter Taj's home and search for homes. What's this? It's a paper full of names written on it. Oh, and a map. Uh, Nabil, can you make any sense of this? <sighs> yes. This is definitely Taj's handwriting. These papers look like records. These are the transactions between Taj and some other people. From the look of the numbers, the scale of this smuggling case is absolutely massive. The whole operation involves more than 300 people, including dozens of celebrities. These are famous scholars, merchants, mercenaries. I have a feeling that Sino might be unaware of what he's up against. There's no way anyone could face such a large organization on their own. Maybe he's aware of that, even so he won't back down. Oh, 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 we were... If Taj really has turned on his honor and committed these terrible acts, then I suspect that he might already be at the Court of Desolation as we speak. I don't want to suspect him, but I also don't know him very well. Maybe Sino will know what to do. All right, we'll give these to Sino and see. Let's go! Yeah, it's right here. We were literally around this area. You tell Sino everything that's happened. <sighs> Tosh. It's been a while since I last saw him. From what I remember, he is a straight-laced man. Although he would resort to extreme measures from time to time, he would never do anything against his beliefs. So do you think he's the one behind all this? I'm still not sure. I cannot imagine how devastating the incident with Mortada was for him. Nor can I deny the possibility that people can change. Whether it's out of love for his son or for other reasons, we have to see for ourselves to judge him. Or rather, the person he's become. The evidence is stacked against him now. That's right. It's clear that he had a hand in this case. Yet he made no report of it. There's no doubting that. That's also why I need to see him. I must ask his reasoning and judge him myself. Time is ticking. Let's go. Oh. This is it, huh? How'd you guys even get in? Court of Desolation. Some strange association built this secret base at some point during the time of King Deshret. It is said that the secret to reviving the deceased is hidden here. Standing at the gate, you can hear hard pounding drumming noises ringing in the depths. So this is the Court of Desolation. Ooh. Are there really any treasures buried here? Oh, Paimon's kind of nervous. Could it be dangerous? Don't worry. You'll be safe with me. <laughs> Walls have definitely seen better days. Was there some sort of light here? Let's keep going and see what we can find. What? Whoa! Is it just Paimon? Or did that passage we just rotate? It's not gonna start moving again, is it? Uh, either way, we should be careful. Oh, it's uh, oh, what the. F Oh, there's like purple gunk everywhere. It's almost like the ca that that stuff from the chasm. Wait, yeah, that looks awfully similar to how that forbidden knowledge thing looked like in the cinematic. Ooh. Oh, heck no! A passage. Hopefully, that's our way in. What the? F it's Kazuna's domain all over again.
Yeah, I need, um... I, no, put this ominous purple energy. That eye seems to be staring right at us! Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, oh, lord. Oh. This is a very, very fucking cool domain, I gotta say. I really like how this, this domain's designed, though. Taj? Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love this domain. I love this domain. Taj? Is that you? Tosh. Ah, uh, Sino. It's been some time since I've seen you last. I trust you are doing well. Seeing that you've made it all the way here, you must be on the cusp of wrapping up your investigation, I presume. Hmm. <laughs> Even faster than I expected. Is it because you have some new partners now? That's right. This case is nearly closed, but the most important answer still eludes me. Why are you doing was this? Was it all <sighs> Yes. It was me. Then explain why. That's the difficult part. Let's just say, I've changed. I've become a selfish coward, who only wants to pursue his own interests. I find that hard to believe. Oh really? The way I see it, Every person will end up like me sooner or later. When you're young, you press forward, unattached, living solely for the justice in your heart. But as you begin to age, you start to become more cautious. You know many things are wrong, but still turn a blind eye to them. I was the same. I never questioned my actions until Murtada died. I could feel the justice that I once strived to uphold slowly crumbling in my heart. I was completely dedicated to all that I did, but as I grew older, I found myself feeling alone, miserable. Can you imagine what it feels like to not have the will to live, but not be able to die? Murtada was sent to prison by my own hands. I set myself on this painful path. He blames himself my for this. hated him till the day he died, and now I must live with that pain and regret. I failed him as a father. But now, now I have a chance to make it right. A chance to reunite with him. The Court of Desolation. Here lies the key to overcoming life and death. The power to even bring the dead back to life. Enough conjecture. What has happened is already part of the past. You cannot bring the dead back to life. In the end, the treasures you seek are nothing but myths and legend. Since you're so sure, why don't you just let me open the door and see then? No, I sense danger behind that door. There will be dire consequences the moment you open it. I beg you, as an old partner, can you let me fulfill my last wish just this once? Oh, the last time we went into some ruins and uh, did something of this magnitude, it didn't end well either, you know? Someone's father died the last time we did this. Surely you get it by now. Doing your job without mercy will only drive people away from you. I'm the prime example. I don't overthink things. If there is only one way for me to defend my principles, then that is the path I will take. Seems there's no convincing you. All right then. Let's see if your polearm skills have improved at all. This power is mine. Whoa! You can summon both of them? Strength. You feel it, don't you? I'm stronger than you remember. I gained new power when I entered the Court of Desolation. This is only a taste of it. Once I open the door behind me, this power will be complete. 
Even life and death will have no grip on me. I still remember when we first became partners. You were always charging forward and putting your life on the line. Just like now, even after all this time, you still haven't changed. You haven't changed either. You left that list of names and map in your house on purpose, didn't you? You wanted me to be able to find you here. All of this was just part of the act you were putting on. What happened just now was also part of your plan. You might have fooled those on the list, but you will not fool me. I had my suspicions from the beginning, but I couldn't be sure until we fought. If he really had changed, your fighting style wouldn't be as it was before. He never planned on opening the door. His true intention was... What's happening? Seems our time is running short. Let me make this quick then. After Mortada died, my spirit was crushed. For a long time, I was hoping this reality was just some terrible nightmare. I hoped I would just wake up and be able to see his smiling face again. That is when I was approached by someone who wished to collaborate and find the Court of Desolation together. I did some investigation of my own and discovered they were part of a massive organization. People from every walk of life are involved. They are relentless in their search, pouring countless mora into secret research, even sacrificing lives in hopes that the Court of Desolation would appear. No wonder banning the research wasn't enough. A full-scale operation was already in motion. I'm a flesh-and-blood human like anyone else, so I obviously hesitated and considered it. The thought of bringing my son back tugged at my heart, but in the end, <laughs> I came to my senses. I knew that I could not let myself go down that path. I suddenly came to a realization amidst my suffering. The Cord of Desolation, a place that once drove people to tragedy, was still doing so even centuries later. You wanted to destroy it. As long as this place exists, people will recklessly seek it out, just as Mortada did, generation after generation, regardless of the cost. Let it be buried beneath the sand forever. He blames it on Once this Once the Court of Desolation is gone, there will no longer be anyone obsessed with seeking it out. The damage on the walls we saw on our way here, you're going to destroy the Court of Desolation. That's right. I acted as if I had abandoned my convictions just so that they would cooperate without raising any suspicion. This was the only way I could find and destroy this place. But that wasn't enough. I needed someone I could trust to bring the organization to justice. The Academia forbids the research of the Court of Desolation, so they would never approve my plan in the first place. To add to the problem, the organization is so powerful that they even have members working within the Academia. If I wished to destroy the organization, I couldn't just count on the Academia alone. So, you pretended to be the one behind all this as a test for me? <sighs> yes. I'm sorry, but now I am assured. You haven't changed at all. You are still as you always were, fearless, and making no compromise. Anyway, this place is collapsing. You must leave now. Wait! Aren't you leaving too? There are still loads of bad guys to catch outside! He's not planning His to... His fate is already sealed. There is no life left inside him. He is like a candle with no more wick to burn. He means to open the Court of Desolation. One must sacrifice their life. You planned it all from the very beginning, didn't you? Risking being treated as a traitor to collaborate with them. Sacrificing your own life to open and destroy the Court of Desolation. Regardless, I made a grave mistake by allowing the smuggling and the research of this place. Let this be the final judgment on myself. I was always so busy with work that I never made time to fulfill Mortada's wishes. <sighs> Finding this place was his biggest wish. Since I'll be reuniting with him here, I can only hope he won't have anything more to hold against me. I'll leave all those people on the list to you. Sorry, 
for all the trouble I've caused. There's nothing to be sorry for. We are partners. If you see Mortada, send him my greetings. Goodbye, old friend. She's going to sit there? He's accepted it. Dad, why are they so strict with me? I'm always the only one who gets in trouble. Just leave me alone! Don't worry, I won't damage your precious reputation. All right, Dad. Let's start over. By the way, I finally found an area of research I wish to pursue. Why can't you show even a little leniency? Why? Because we are Matra. Desolation has... Disappeared. Just as Taj said, that place had caused too many disasters and tragedies. Being buried in quicksand is its rightful end. It also means he's just suffocated to death. It's... De oh, fuck. What about the organization? To them, as long as there's Mora to be made, they will disregard the Academia's rules, whether it's the Court of Desolation or anything else. Their only goal is to make massive profits off of dangerous research. Taj may have set them back with the Court of Desolation, but... It won't be long before they continue searching for another target. That's an opportunity that I will not let them have. Just leave the rest to me. I will bring them to justice myself. Besides, I promised you that I would sweep away any potential danger. So, that's what I'm going to do. Wait for me at Caravan Rebob four days from now. Fuck. He didn't want anyone else to experience what he's gone through. So, that was his only solution. Uh, I mean, in the end, he's doing a... He was... He did a good deed after all. He prevented such a place from taking any more lives. It may have been an unconventional way, but I don't know how else that would have been resolved either. We meet again. Thank you so much for all your help. Oh, hey, Nabil. Convicts from the desert are being escorted through Caravan Repot, so I'm here to keep an eye on things. This should be the last group of them, so I'll be heading back to the Academia They once took clear. down the whole organization? What's the situation? What happened these last few days? The last few days have been quite the ride, but fortunately, I can say with confidence that this case is finally coming to an end. Good. At first, the mercenary groups on the list were putting up quite a fight. They made several desperate attempts to cover up the truth. However, word is that someone crossed the desert and took out their main camp overnight. <laughs> God. Wow, Sino. Did they get some scholars arrested too? Then we received word that Taj Radkani had sacrificed himself on the case. The news really stirred up the members of our ranks. The Matra then moved together against the enemy. We cleared out the traitors from within the academia and arrested all the researchers on the list. Some of them managed to get out of the academia, but still failed to escape. The scattered criminals were captured all across Sumeru the mysterious person who had defeated the mercenary groups. <sighs> so, oh, wow. I even heard that someone was about to escape to Fontaine, but was still apprehended just at the border. Having more than 300 prisoners apprehended for interrogation has definitely shaken things up recently. Three... Wait, Fontaine... Oh my... Wait, my guy was going... Yo... Trying to single-handedly oh. bring 300 people to justice must feel pretty exhilarating. But I can assure you, this is certainly not the best solution. Tingai. However, I learned something unexpected during interrogation. Apparently, someone had enticed Mortada Radkani into becoming interested in researching the Court of Desolation. Mortada had lived in his father's shadow all his life. Naturally, he wanted to conduct research that would seem groundbreaking and significant. After Mortada died, 
The organization tried to use Taj's shame regarding his son to add him to their ranks, toying with others' minds, treating lives like dirt, and doing anything for their own interests. <sighs> this makes me angry. Fine, I understand. This is a type of trap I've been working on which uses plants. Here, take some just in case you need them next time. If thrown into the mud, the trap will grow rapidly and disperse a pollen that has a paralyzing effect. I don't have much use Whoa. for the traps these days, but maybe you will and can help me collect more testing data. Sino! Tainari! Oh, so Tainari must be who Nabil saw earlier! Are you also here to see Sino? That's right. Sino asked me to collect some medicinal herbs to treat a girl named Simi. Ah, right. I also dropped by just to check for any injuries. He seems to be fine physically, but he looks a little more lonely than I remember. And Sino, relax. You don't always have to look so serious, you know. Why don't you play more Genius Invocation TCG? Kale has always been a little wary of you, and your stern expression certainly isn't helping. How is Kale these days? She's grown a bit taller, but her grades could use some improvement. She still made many mistakes on her last test, even after I had marked all the important content in the book for her. Her condition seems to be improving lately, so I plan on having her go outside more. It just so happens that I have something she can help me with. Oh, yeah. You mean Kale is leaving a video forest? What happened? I've asked her to host some ad hoc lectures to teach the dangers of canned knowledge, oh. as well as how to use it safely. Although we've apprehended all the criminals behind the recent smuggling case, there are many people who are still curious and seek after canned knowledge. So I decided to ask her to work on increasing knowledge and awareness on the topic. Please be sure to keep an eye on her. I will. If anything else happens, the three of you can find me in the Avidya Forest. Take care. I've already caught those who were preparing to attack you in secret. Even if some criminals did slip through our fingers, they wouldn't know that you were involved in the case, so you can relax. Not like they'd be a problem. What about you, Sino? It's still not time for me to rest yet. Those who died have fulfilled their wishes, but those who are alive must continue pressing forward. I've been thinking about what Taj said in the Court of Desolation these last few days. His words were not empty. People do change, and no belief can completely resist the erosion of time. Mm. Erosion, huh? I just hope my own change will come slowly, so that I can press on a little further. That way, those who see me as their superior, and those who are following in my footsteps, will learn courage from my example, just as I gained courage from my own superiors, and my partner. Sounds like a lot of work. I hope it will make you happy, Sino. I'll be fine. I'm also enjoying my chat with you right now, you know? Hey. There are many things I feel better about once I start to talk about them. Many people want to go to the desert to offer condolences for Tosh. But I didn't share details with anyone. I'd prefer to avoid revealing the location of the Court of Desolation. One day, I'll gather some flowers that grow in arid desert conditions. And then, I was hoping you'd join me in planting them on the remains of the Court of Desolation. I will. <sighs> There we have it. By the way, something strange happened a few days ago. A yeah. merchant approached me and requested that I cover the cost of a desert travel kit. 1,250,000 mora. <sighs> Dory, what the fuck? That's not the price we discussed. I didn't remember owing anyone mora, especially not that kind of amount. So I arrested the merchant on charges of provocation and disturbing the peace. Do you know anything about this? Uh, nope. Paimon has no idea what that could be. <laughs> I'm just gonna assume that's Dor one of Dory's goons or, you know, partners, and uh, not that Dory got arrested herself. All right, well, wow. That has been Sino's story quests. This was a nice story. This was... Like all of them are, really, but... Ah... Uh, this whole... Thing with Taj... I mean, it's... 
in the end, it's in. I know he considered the idea of using Court of Desolation's power, but I'm. I still respect the guy for sticking to his principles even till the end. He was just putting up an act to destroy the court in secret. And I respect the guy's willpower. Sino's abilities to just rampant through the desert and take out the whole, the main base of operations overnight and capture 300 escapee escapists even one that was about to cross over to Fontaine what are you smoking seriously and uh, well we obviously we still know this is not the only main problem of canned knowledge that exists in Sumeru right now there's lit the whole academia is currently just hoarding these can knowledge, even divine can knowledge, to try and build a new god out of Scaramouche of all people. Let's see how this will shortly lead into, you know, 3.2, where the finale takes place. Okay. It was a good quest. I really enjoyed this one. But it's really, ke really kept me on the edge. But yeah, thank you guys for watching my reaction to Sino's story quest. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. Let me know your thoughts and down in the comments how you yes. thought how you would rate this story quest and if you liked it or not. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.